मोशन एंड मोशन सेंसर पर हैज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट मिसअंडरस्टूड सब्जेक्ट इन द सर्वेइंग we all know about the effects of motion the heave roll pitch and the effects of motion physically on to us where we feel motion sickness but we do not properly understand how it affects the data while we are doing the survey so today in this video we are going to discuss everything about the motion sensor if you want to know more about different types of motions then you must see this video i made about 2 years back which discusses about the six different types of motion but today in this video we will be discussing about the effects of the motion what it needs to be properly effective and how we can calibrate the motion sensor if this is something you are looking for then welcome please do not forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this so let's begin so first we are going to see what motion does to a vessel when it is surveying suppose this is your vessel zoom in now we have an antenna and we have a multi beam and multiple sensors if the vessel suppose it's pitching up you can see the position of the antenna is here and directly it is positioning here but while the sensor position is here okay so there will be a positional mismatch in the data and okay. when the vessel is rolling the antenna moves this side so the position of the vessel moves towards this side but the position of the sensor is somewhere different and this happens every time a vessel rolls from port to starboard and pitches bow up and bow down and we are only talking about the position of the vessel position of the antenna and position of the sensor we are not even talking about the data that it is gathering let me draw it on the chalkboard so if this is the vessel antenna and if this is a vessel sensor suppose it is a single beam echo sounder and it sends out a cone somewhere between 7 to 15 22 degree and when the vessel rolls the antenna will be shifted to this point so the position of the vessel will be here and the echo sounder it will also be shifted this side so the position of the echo sounder is somewhere here and position of the vessel antenna is somewhere there and the echo sounder will gather data from within this cone so you greatly see there is a positional mismatch between the depth that you are acquiring and the position it's supposed to show there can be as good as 8 to 10 meter difference in a depth of about 30 meter and that's not good for the survey now if we take multi beam sonar then it's a completely different ball game the multi beam it's a beam and the beam will be going up and down going back and forth almost like a butterfly and that effect is not good for the data so there will be a lot of effect first of all there will be a positional error with every roll and pitch and there will be a data error in case of multi beam if you are using so now we know that other than the motion sickness that affects us physically the motion sensor can affect the data of a surveying sensor but how does a motion sensor senses all this data what is inside a motion sensor let's have a look at it first of all every motion sensor will have something called a gyroscope every motion sensor will have a gyroscope for angular momentum of the motion sensor that is one of the most important component of motion sensing next we will have three axis accelerometer the three axis accelerometer will sense the linear acceleration in three different direction and that normally gives us the heave surge and sway so together with the accelerometer and gyroscope we can calculate the motion sensor itself can calculate the roll the pitch and the yaw and this accelerometer gives you heave surge and sway other than these two equipment some of the motion sensor also uses a magnetometer 
and some of the motion sensor the latest version of the motion sensor that uses a pressure sensor they need to know how much deep under water they are so that they calculate can calculate the z component of the motion very easily but normally in every motion sensor you will find a gyroscope and three axis accelerometer and these are not mechanical items this will be mems chips embedded into it so what are the first things that we need to do to have the motion sensor work properly first of all we need to make sure that the motion sensor knows a 3d reference frame in which it is working for that we need to calculate very accurately where is the motion sensor in relation to the other sensor especially from antenna where is my echo sounder and where is my motion sensor this needs to be perfectly aligned and very accurately measured and it is not only x and y offset we need to find the z offset also we need to know how high the antenna is which will be plus z and how low another sensor is below the water in minus z this is very important as accurate as you can measure your motion data will be that accurate now every motion sensor will have a heading marked on top of the motion sensor it will be a notch which needs to be aligned with the vessel's fore and aft line now every motion sensor needs some input given into the motion sensor itself for it to work accurately and these inputs are your heading input as well as your speed external speed input now heading input you can give from your existing gyro compass which is supposed you have calibrated beforehand and if you have a speed sensor separately then you can use that also some people in place of a speed sensor they utilize the position they give the position inside the motion sensor so that it can sense the speed over ground and there is one more very important component we have to give to the motion sensor that is one second pulse or we call it one pps without it the motion sensor is not going to work properly now all this can be given into a motion sensor in enemy as 0183 format like zta vtg hdt etc so after you have given all the information to the motion sensor and you have calculated the offset of the motion sensor with respect to all the sensors what output you are going to get you are going to get roll pitch heave yaw surge and sway all these six information you are going to get and you are also going to get the acceleration information acceleration in x axis y axis and z axis but there is one good thing the modern day motion sensor they can also output the motion in a lever arm so if your motion sensor is here and your antenna is somewhere here it can lever arm the motion at the echo sounder somewhere different it may have a x axis and y axis difference but you can utilize the lever arm in the motion sensor to have the motion at the echo sounder now most of the time i have seen that some people uses motion sensor at the echo sounder or at the multi beam it is not required but sometimes it may be required if it is a over the side pole that you are using which may have a localized movement so remember any vibration in the pole motion sensor will not be able to detect it properly so where to put the motion sensor for optimal output a lot of people will tell you to put the motion sensor at the cog or the center of gravity of the vessel but believe me you as a surveyor are not qualified to find where is the cog of the vessel you need a naval architect to find the cog of the vessel so the best place to install a motion sensor will be say about 1/3 from the bow you put your motion sensor somewhere here that is normally the best place to be and it has to be in the mid section that will be as close to the cog as possible all right let us now discuss about the motion sensor calibration if you have made this far 
may request you to take a second to subscribe down below and leave a comment maybe put a thumbs up to my video this doesn't take much time for you but it helps my channel immensely if you want to support me in making this kind of a content you can take a membership of my channel the link is in the description below so back to the calibration there are mainly two different types of calibration that we can do one of the calibration will be factory calibration or the oem calibration your motion sensor must be calibrated at least once every 2 years yes otherwise your motion sensor data will degrade over the time now after the motion sensor has come back from the factory comes back from the oem you need to do a workshop calibration a static calibration you put your motion sensor through a known kind of a motion you put it on the side you put it vertically you put it upside down and then you log the data okay that is the static calibration which can be done in the workshop but we are mainly concerned about the dynamic calibration that we carry out in the field that is the vessel must be free floating it should not be on the power it should not be tied up to the jetty it is free floating just on the sea in a normal sea not in a rough sea and not in extremely calm calm sea condition so once the vessel is free floating the motion sensor will slowly finds its own reference frame it will go through all the motions of roll pitch heave sway yaw and everything and it will fine tune its sensors and will give you a calibration value it will find the levelness of the motion sensor it will find the heading alignment error of the motion sensor and give it to you and that data you have to accept so it goes into the motion sensor itself you of course need to use uh, official software for the motion sensor to do the calibration so that's all for today i hope this small video has helped you in understanding the motion sensor and if you have not watched my previous motion sensor video you can watch it here it will tell you different kinds of a motion that is roll pitch yaw such sway and heave as well as the squat so as always be good and always be curious i'll see you very soon